What's up, boys and girls? This is Spit Logic, and I just finished a race today. So today I did the Wendy's Frosty 5K. And for those of you who don't know, the Wendy's Frosty 5K is an annual event. It's held here in Columbus, Ohio, and it is uh, connected to the Dave Foundation, which is connected with adoption. Um, this was the third race in a series of races that I purchased uh, part of the Buckeye Run Challenge. And it leads up and culminates into a half marathon, the Seattle Half Marathon that is in September. So how did the race go? Uh, I remember the last time I made a video, it was essentially about myself, my injury, and everything leading up to this next race and the prior race, the Freedom Four Miler. So since the Freedom Four Miler, I took a lot of time off from running. I, I drastically slowed down on the running. I ran maybe like once a week and then biked twice a week. Then I, I changed that into uh, running, biking, and then swimming as well, doing some running underwater um, during, that, during that time. It really did help a lot. It allowed me to keep my cardio up. At the same time, I was continuing to um, develop and, and keep my core, keep my muscles, my leg muscles, uh, continue to develop those and keep those strong and firm. Now, the only drawback to that was since I wasn't running, um, I was very tentative when I did run because, you know, I could feel it in my ankle a little bit. I eventually got to the point where the pain was very minimal and I was able to ramp my running up from about four miles each week to about four and then five miles each week. These last couple of weeks, I got up to about six miles each run. Um, and this last week leading up to the Wendy's 5K, uh, I was doing six and about six and a half each run during that week. Now, Saturdays, I usually do a long run, but it wasn't until maybe about two or three weeks ago that I started running again. Up until that point, I was doing long bike rides. So I do about 18, 20 miles on my bike. So funny thing happened the week prior to this week. I was planning on doing my longer run and I was planning on doing about an eight mile run when I came down with a very bad cold and uh, it had me bedridden for the day. I was not able to get my run in. This week, being that I skipped my previous run, I was determined on getting back on and um, ramping my run up. So I did eight miles Saturday. And since I'm not very smart, since I don't have all of my brain cells working, I forgot that I had this run, the 5K on Sunday. So I ran eight miles on Saturday. It was a decent run. And then today I did the Wendy's 5K. Now leading up to this, I was very nervous. I did not think I was gonna perform well for this run. I knew that you know, my cardio was getting a little bit better. My running was getting a little bit better. But at the same time, I ran eight miles the day prior. And, and you don't want to overexert yourself. You don't want to overrun. So I did anyway with the expectation that if I kept my pace at around an eight minute mile pace, if I was able to just run and enjoy the run, I would consider that a victory. If I could run, complete it, and not be sore, not be in a lot of pain, then, then that's exactly what I was gonna do. And that's exactly what I aimed for. Unfortunately, there are the people in this and it's called a race. So you are racing against other people. You are running against other people, even if you're not running against them. There are other people who are running and who are trying to pass you up in this race. So we get there and I don't know how many races you guys have been in, but you see people stretching, you see people preparing, you see people sizing other people up, and uh, they, are, they are ready to get at it. They're ready to get at this race. And they said go, and I started running. And again, my, my caution was kind of thrown out of the window. I was expecting to run maybe an eight minute mile pace. It was only about 3.1 miles, but the number of people that 
were in front of me, the number of people that were behind me, and the, the prospect of me actually passing them up caused me to run a lot faster than I initially intended to run, which is a good thing because it showed me that I do have the capacity to do it. I do have the ability to run at a high rate. Um, and, and really now, I feel like I don't have to be as cautious as I have been the previous weeks just because I didn't want to hurt myself even more. I feel as though my ankle is fine. I feel as though my ankle is not at 100%, but I would call it at about 75, 80%. And for me, that's good enough to run normally as I continue to strengthen that area around my ankle, as I continue to ice it after the longer runs, and uh, as I continue to just build my, my, my ability to run further and to run a little bit faster. So race results, how did the race results go? So in the race results, there were 567 people total who did the race. Overall, I finished 27th place out of that 567. My time was 22 minutes and nine seconds. In my gender, I finished 23rd. And in my age group, I finished third place. That's right. I finished in third place. I got called. Someone called me and I picked up a Wendy's gift certificate for finishing third place in my age group. Pretty amazing, I feel like. Um, my pace overall was about a 708, um, according to, to the uh, race penguin, but when I go into my Garmin, because I use a Garmin, um, the pace was around a 707. So one second, I'm not really too worried about it. Um, I think it was pretty accurate and it was a really good time. I, I have not placed in a race for my age group ever. I've never done that before. So there is one more race. I have three down, one to go. The Ciotta, um Half Marathon is the last race in this series, and I am a little concerned about it. So since I didn't run the week prior my eight miles, I did my eight miles this week which means between now and about four weeks from now, I have to be able to run 13 miles. So if I have four weeks uh, to do 14, to do 13 miles, then I'm gonna have to add maybe about a mile and a half extra uh, with each Saturday that, that, that I have. And that is assuming that there's not gonna be a time where I'm not gonna be able to run on a Saturday. So that has me a little concerned, but um, either way, no matter how many miles I end up running prior to the race, I'm going to do the race and I'm going to finish the marathon. I expect I, what I want to do, what I really want to do is be able to run a half marathon at an eight and a half minute pace. Under under 845, I think I'll be happy with it. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that if I'm not able to get those miles in on those weekends leading up to the Ciota uh, half marathon. But if I can, if I will, if, I, if, if it's capable, um, then I, I will accept that and uh, hopefully I'll have a good race. So that's it. That's all I've got for right now. I am looking forward to this, this last race in the Buckeye Run series. I will see after I'm done with this half marathon if I'm going to sign up for any other races. I'm not too keen to running during the winter outside because of the unpredictability of the weather. My, my threshold for running is about 30 degrees. Anything under 30 degrees, I try not to run in that weather. I know they have specialized gear that makes it better for you to run in it. I know that, you know, written, you can, you can run in like negative 18 degree weather. But for me, um, I like to enjoy running. I, I actually enjoy running and I like to enjoy it. I, I want to be able to run and after the run, not have to defrost. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks for listening. And until next time, peace.